Hey, how's it going? I just got on the MRT. I took the BTS up to Asok and then on the Sukhumvit line headed up one stop, Petchaburi. Now I'm going to Makassan Station and catching the airport rail link out to Sawanapum. It's all clearly marked. Just get off here at Petchaburi and uh, follow the signs to the airport rail link. It's about a half a block walk, but it's all covered. Just follow the crowds with the suitcases and we're heading right over here. There's the Lala Move truck. That's exactly what I used when I moved. Uh, I probably had four big suitcases and six boxes. Ironing board, mattress pad. It was a whole, woo, less than 500 baht. With a, with a nice tip. I mean, I was still out uh, only 800 baht to have my stuff picked up and moved. I helped the guy. But he uh, came up to the apartment and then helped me with it up to the 20... Fifth floor, I think I'm on, in the new apartment. We got some solid traffic in the uh, area and it looks like somebody went down on a motorbike. Unfortunately, that happens all the time, even with uh, locals. So don't, don't be in a big rush to run over here and get a motorbike and try to uh, zoom around this city. It's, uh, it's a little chaotic, so just be careful. This airport rail link, it's uh, six or seven stops, I believe, heading out to Sawanapum, and it's used by locals to get out to that area of town. The BTS doesn't go there. So it's fairly busy. It's uh, going on 5 p.m. I know it's going to be chaotic. Hi. But uh, I, I, don't like, I don't like dealing, certainly with a cab. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what they charge. But a Bolt or a Grab car, they just cancel because it's such a cheap price to get out to the airport, like five, 600 baht that they just cancel, cancel, cancel when they get a better offer. So if I have the time, like I do right now, I just deal with the traffic on the train and blast out there. And they'll have the self-service machines just like the BTS or MRT, or there's a customer service window. I'm just gonna jump up there, there's nobody in line. But sometimes I've seen this line 30 people long. And then once you get your poker chip, just hit it, just like the uh, MRT, and it's clearly marked Swanapum. Now I'm catching the train here at uh, Pechaberry. You can also catch it or get dropped off at Payatai if that's the section of town you're staying in. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it, it was 35 baht one way. Don't be put off if you come up here and there's a million people. What they'll do is there's a line here and there's a line there. Well, they'll double up. They'll put two lines this way and two lines that way. And sometimes people will cut, but don't let it bother you. Nothing to get in an argument over. But if you are the 10th man in line, you'll, you'll notice once that line gets big enough, the Thai people will start a second line. Now, you're supposed to wait for the first line to go, and then the second line starts. But like I say, it doesn't always happen. And give yourself a little bit of time with this airport train. It doesn't come as often, definitely not as often as the BTS or MRT. I think it's Ooh, I want to say at least 10 minutes apart. It might even be 15 minutes apart. And one time, a long time ago, the train actually pulled up and it was already stuffed. So we had to wait for the next train. So just factor in, you're going to save some money using the train, but it could take an extra 20 minutes that you're not counting on. If I was a family of four with four big suitcases, I, I probably wouldn't do the train, to be quite honest. I'd, I'd take a Bolt or Grab car. But just like this guy, just like me, you can see these are mostly locals. And then every 10th person is heading to the airport. The other people are just heading out to the suburbs. Now this train looks half empty, so we're okay. But trying to get a family of four on here with big, huge suitcases can oftentimes be a problem. So a nice easy ride, I forgot to time it. The website says it's 45 minutes. And we just got off of that train. I'm not sure why they didn't uh, reload it, but these are the passengers waiting to get on uh, the other train. It's a good affordable choice. And with traffic in Bangkok, cabs are cheap. Not as cheap as 35 baht one way, but you could get stuck in traffic for an hour at any time so if you're one of those folks that likes to cut it close especially on international flights maybe the train's the way to uh, buzz out here to the airport a little safer and once again just follow the signs there's a Novotel hotel right here at Suwanapum it's not behind customs it's on the outside of the airport best I know but right here just make the exit to the airport 
And that's it, the train comes right into the basement here at the airport. And you'll just drop your poker chip to exit just like in the MRT. If you're with some huge suitcases like this guy, he should go to the gate to the right there. He's gonna try to, he's gonna try to get through there, but it's, uh, well, this one's a little wider, but that gate over there, you can open up, no problem. Now, I haven't exchanged money in a long time. I have the uh, Thai bank account, but somebody had asked me to give the rates, so I see US 32.59. Oh, I'm trying to stay out of people's way. 32.59 and 35.60 for buying notes. So that's a pretty good rate at 35.60. You'll often find better rates down here in the basement than even upstairs. So, so come down to the basement if you are going to exchange $500 or a large amount of money here at the airport. You're going to get a better rate down here unless things have changed. And you might even want to look at uh, a couple of booths. Somewhere around here is a section where there's like six in a row. And I think Super Rich or TT often are a really good rate. This is the uh, Casa Corn Bank. And not all the time. Again, I'm no expert in this, but sometimes the uh, private companies, they do a little bit better rate. As a matter of fact, when I walked into Bangkok Bank with uh, $10,000 cash, she told me, go outside. Go outside to the window. And um, there was a private exchange booth and it saved me 90 US dollars. I was just trying to stick that 10 grand in my account, but, but she said, go out there, get it in Thaibot, and then come deposit it into your new account. So she saved me, uh, she, she saved me 90 bucks because she knew her rate wasn't as good as uh, the private exchange booth. Again, the train just drops you off down here in the basement. So just go up to the number four level for departures. Use the escalator or there's uh, elevators available. And on the number one level is a food court. I've never ate there, but I imagine it has to be cheaper than uh, airport food. Here are folks taking picture with the queen. And here we are in Suwanapum. Big gigantic roof. Not too busy for a Monday afternoon. It's about, I don't know what time it is, 6 p.m.? It can get crazy busy here. I've seen these lines. It, it looks like it would take well over an hour and a half to get to a counter. So please, please don't, don't cut it too close on uh, your international flights. Come hang out. I'm lucky today to hit the Singapore Airlines lounge. So no problem kicking back in there watching a movie. So that's my little look at the airport rail link from Pechaberry to Sawanapum. Yeah, save yourself some money. It's no not a big deal at all it was 35 baht one way it really wasn't that crowded but even when it is crowded it's better than paying uh sometimes these guys want to charge uh, 11 1200 baht for a taxi now that's a little bit of a broken meter situation but even a, a regular taxi ride you pay for the tolls etc it's going to be eight nine hundred a thousand baht grab and bolt it's going to be cheaper but once again it's sometimes hard to secure those rides when uh, they might say, yeah, I'm on the way for 600 baht, take you to the airport, get a better offer on uh, another app, and they cancel on you. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, consider subscribing if you like these looks around Thailand and Southeast Asia. So take it easy.